Well, howdy dilly dandy there chums, I am back inside of Towers of Agasba. Now, I need to make this sustained pillar. I've managed to get all the hardwood, the limestone and the resin. So let's make the sustained pillar, see how long that takes. Right, that's going to take half an hour. Now, why am I getting these things? Well, if I go into fill orders, if I go over to the temples, I want to rebuild the stone temple. Right, so I need the sustained pillar, that's option number one, item number one. I need crystal, I need more limestone, and I need a golden bar. Right, well let's see if I can get anywhere close to that golden bar. Let's go see this chap over here. Right, so this guy is the gold seller, or trader, whatever you want to call him. I'm going to go and talk to him. Now I've got quite a lot of scrap, so I can get... A lot of scrap there into gold and then the gold bar I need five of them so here we go let's get five okay now that's quite quick lovely jubbly collect those okay now I would like the gold bar please I have to go out and go back in yes please and collect We've now got our gold bar, so that's one step closer. Now the next thing I needed was a load of limestone. I'll show you where I get my limestone. I need to make sure I've definitely got a decent pickaxe. Oh, it's about to break. Can I craft myself a new pickaxe? I can. There we go. Now I'll show you where I get them. So from this actual Midhaven town, there's a rock that looks quite pointed over there, like a crocodile type face type rock. Well, if I climb on top of that, this one here, bump it up and on, half chow, you go over this rock, and then over this one here, and I think there's like a little crevice in between the two where the actual limestone is. Let's just climb up here. Here we go. So, this is where the limestone starts. So, I start up high. There's my first limestone deposit. Pow! That one's broke. I'm now using an invisible one. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's still invisible. That's the first. Ciao! Well, it, does, it doesn't seem to be going down in, um, in durability. Wah! I think I've got, like, a ghost pickaxe. Here we go. Let's go hit this one, then. Yeah, the durability's not going down. Brilliant! Let's just hope that stays like that forever. Okay, right. Head on over here. And there's some more limestone over this way. Coolio. And the first one, I think, is actually on this boulder here. You have to get close to it before it pops up. There you go, look, there's one there. But there's also one down here that's really easy to miss. Pow! Get that one. Limestone, limestone, heck yes. And then there's one here as well. Lovely. Have it, limestone. Yeah, this this pickaxe of mine, this ghost pickaxe, is doing wonders. And head on over to here. There's another one up here. Pow! Pow! And pow! Hiya! And then there's two down here. I may have missed one, but I think there's there's one on the way back as I'm walking. Right, get this one. And that's my limestone run. I mean, there might be one or two that I might have missed along here, but that, this is pretty much what I get for the limestone on my run. And then on the way back, I think there's one at the foothills of one of these boulders, but it's super easy to miss. Somewhere along here. I could be mistaken. I might have got all of them. No, that's just a normal rock. Yeah, I think I might have got all of them. Unless this one here. Are you limestone? No, just stone. All right, yeah, I think I got all of them. Papa chow! And then I head back to base. And that's where I get my limestone. Yeah, right, let's have a look at the fulfill orders now go back over there so we've got everything apart from the crystal I mean the sustained pillar is still going to take half an hour 
Now, what I think I need to harvest the crystal is an iron pickaxe. So I might have to craft one of those. Let's go see if what I need to craft my iron pickaxe. Is that one over here? So the iron pickaxe, I need iron met well metal rods and iron ore. So if I had one over here, can I make the iron rods? No, I need coal and I need iron. So I'll show you where I get my coal and my iron from. Okay, so let's head on over here. And I'm going to be teleporting back to the first zone over here and there. Okay, so to get iron and coal, I mean, I'm going to need my stone pickaxe, which at the, mo at the moment seems to be immortal. It seems to be forever living. Yeah, it's like Mumra from Thundercats. Right, so let's head on over this way. And I'm heading towards that big stone column over there. But as I get over towards this lake, there's like a little hut. So I'm going to head on over towards that hut. Lovely jubbly. And my iron harvesting starts just around the, by this hut. So hopefully you've unlocked this hut. It's by this pond. And I'll show you on the map where it is, because not everybody's built in the same place. But there we go. It's just there, the hut. Tahisha's hut. Sorry if I butchered that name and got it completely wrong. But you head on over here. And the first lumps of iron can be found right here. Let's see if my uh, lovely... It's still invisible. I've still got an... I don't really want to swap out at all. This is awesome. Okay, there we go. Getting loads of iron. Brilliant. hey take that. I really wish that we had tools that lasted forever like this. It's such a bane having to recraft them all every, like, ten minutes. There you go. There's iron there. Now, if you do want clay, look off this cliff. Look, there's, like, what... Three nodules of clay down there, which is pretty nice. There's all clay around by the um, the lake as well. Okay, there's usually a, a, an evil nest there of spiders, but I've wiped it out. It doesn't seem to want to come back anymore, which is good. Some berries there. Right, okay, we're getting close to where we start looking for coal. Now, there is another iron boulder somewhere around here. But the time of day at the moment, it's it's hard to spot because of the sunset. But there is another iron rock nestled amongst all of this. Are you it? No, that's a stone one. But there is an iron one. There is another iron one amongst all of this. I think it's slightly off the cliff. There's a stone one there. I think there's another iron one. Here it is. There is the iron one. Have that, iron boulder. Chikapow! Okay, now this is where we start with the coal. This is where it's going to swap to my spade. And this is where it's going to start the duration. The durability is going to start changing, isn't it? No, the durability is staying up on this as well, isn't it? No, it is going down. It's going down. There we go. We've got some coal. There's loads of coal around here. I mean, there's, there's so much to shake a stick at. You're probably going to miss a couple because there's that many. So here you go. That's where you get your coal. Lovely, lovely coal. Diggity dig. And there's one over here. Sweet. Those are normal stone boulders. But, uh, you can get stone pretty much everywhere, so I don't really need to give stone coordinates, do I? There you go. Stone boulder, stone boulder. But up here is even more coal. Lovely, lovely coal. You're going to have so much coal coming over here. Takes a lot of digs to get it out of the blinking ground. I wish they would reduce the amount of dig. I think they did in the latest update, but it still doesn't feel like enough to me. Lovely. And although that I get all my limestone over where I showed you momentarily ago, I think that is a limestone boulder just up there. Let's see how we get on. No, oh, that's broke. Yep, craft. Let's craft another one of them. See what I mean? I don't like having to craft tools over and over again. You know, once you've done it a few times, it'd be nice if you could actually make a more durable version of each, you know? That doesn't break so much. Oh no, that is actually stone. There is a limestone one though somewhere closer to, to base. But there's more coal over there, but I can't be asked to go all the way over there and get it. I think I've got enough now, so I'm going to head back. Thank you. 
I get gems all those. I just went and got all the ingredients to get myself an iron pickaxe. Apparently, I do own one. So that's pretty darn freaking weird that when I was at my iron forge, it said I didn't own one, unless I'm mistaken. I mean, I could always craft another one now that I've got all the, the gear. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it said owned zero. Yeah, look, it says owned zero. Well, I clearly have one. All right. There we go. Sweet. Oh yeah, well, I might craft another one anyway. There we go. It's always good to have another one, especially if you're going to be breaking them against crystals. There we go. Got that. Heading over here. Let's create another one of those then. It still says zero owned, so that's a bit strange. I'll craft one of them. And then I might craft myself some arrows if I can. Yeah. There you go. I've only got five of them. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to sleep until morning. And then I think I'm going to go and mine some crystal. So I'll show you where I find all my crystal as well. Crystal is a bit more of a jaunt. It's a bit more of a trek to go find crystal. Okay, so let's sleep until morning. Okay, so from Midhaven, I head on over to Azatembo around here. So there's a waterfall around here where um, Aslan lives, or whatever his name is. So it's a bit of a trek, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing all the way over to here. Yeah, fun times. Now you are going to find some just around by the north of this lake, just here. Let's see if we can harvest it. Oh, ciao! This is going to be the first crystal that I've harvested. There you go. It's added to the shimmy decks. There's not much more around by this, this, this part. I mean, there's one over here. It's a little bit of a walk this way. But it's still just north of this lake, just here, down there. There we go. This is also quite a good spot for iron boulders. If you need a bit of a refill, that is. So you could just come here. You don't have to go as far as the waterfall. But by the waterfall, there's like about seven more nodules for the crystal. There's loads of crystal there. It's probably the best place for crystal. But if you want to get crystal and iron, I would suggest coming here. There you go. Lovely. There we go. We've got iron and crystal. Have I got enough crystal? Because if I have, I might as well just return back. Let's have a look. So yeah, I've got enough crystal. So, I, I could show you the waterfall, but I don't think you need to go all that way. But you can if you want, and there's a load more crystal there. But this is quite a nice little place just to get a bit of crystal and get yourself a little bit of iron. And then, if you do want to get back super quick to your base, I'll show you a quick way to get back. Because it's a bit of a jaunt otherwise. So, I usually just hit a save. So, hopefully it's saved everything that I've got right now inside of my inventory. And then I just hit unstuck and hit yes. <laughs> It's going to kill you off. It's going to take you back to the nearest respawn point, which is usually the last town you was in. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it put me back to where I was. There I am. Lovely. And then I can go over to my lumber mill, which is over here. And I've just got to wait now for that pillar to be ready. And that's pretty much it. So this video has been mainly about where I get all my main resources for, for early to mid game. Well, there we go. Now hopefully this has come in handy for you. So that shows you where to get iron, limestone, crystal and coal. There you go, people. Four really cool resources, mainly mineral resources that you're going to need a pickaxe for. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.